Michael reads books. Hey everyone, we're back and we're going to be doing another book review today. So plan people just, you know, stick around if you like Star Wars because it's a Star Wars book. Today we're going to be talking about this mess of a book. The book is called Star Wars Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule. I think that's how you say his name. And it came out in 2001. And when it came out, it was the second highest book on on Amazon and got some pretty good reviews. Um, I don't really know how it got any of those reviews because I thought this was a lot of hot garbage. I got this book from my friends um, who got me a couple Star Wars books. I haven't read the second one. And I am grateful that they got this for me, even though I'm going to rip it apart. Um, it was something that I read all the way through. Um, And it was something that I wanted to read. I was just very disappointed with all of it. So what was the problem with it exactly? Uh, I I don't know where to to start. Um, First of all, the writing was absolutely terrible. The one good thing that I will talk about right now, the one good thing that I liked about this book was that I've never seen another author um, explain the use of the Force in the way that Charles did. And for that alone, that was the only saving grace about this whole about this whole book was how he talked about the Force um, from the various Jedi and how he um, talked about lightsaber combat and the use of the Force. It was very different, and he kind of created this thing where each Jedi saw the Force as something different, something that that they could relate it to. Like one person saw it as a crashing sea, another person saw it as a calming forest and stuff like that. And I really liked that aspect of this book and really appreciated the way that the force was looked at. Everything else I thought was absolutely terrible. So for the first half of this book, um, you're dealing with a catastrophic event. There's going to be a collision. A number of these little things have flown out of hyperspace at this planet and they're destroying little bits and pieces of this solar system. That goes on for about half of the book, and in that time you're introduced to, I don't know, like 20 different characters who don't matter, and they are all written the exact same. That was my biggest problem with this book, is that every single character had the exact same dialogue, the same tone. It didn't matter if they were a Jedi, it didn't matter if they were a different species, it didn't matter if they were the bad guys. They spoke in the exact same tone and and in the same words. And that drove me mental. It was like whenever there would be dialogue between characters, these characters would be speaking and talking the exact same way. And I don't mean that like, you know, like I wanted people to be speaking in in different dialects and have like, you know, different words up and stuff like that. But just the tone of each of them, um, the sentence structure, the like grammatical way that these people spoke, it was all the exact same. Everyone was the exact same. Um, And it was kind of terrible. And it wasn't even well-written dialogue. The dialogue was so poor. The main bad guy, uh, Mashian Rowe, was supposed to be this, like, terrifying guy. But then he says things like, yeah, I'm the bad guy. I can do what I want. He Like, literally, the word yeah is written in these dialogues at times when they're supposed to be having this serious, heavy dialogue. And it's just, like, <laughs> I thought it was so bad. There was a certain point... Um, in the book halfway through where I was like, has this Charles Soule guy, has he ever written a, a novel? Like, I don't understand how how his, his, his writing, his dialogue can be so terrible. I looked it up. He's normally a comic artist and a, uh, a comic book writer. And writing a comic book is a very different thing from writing a novel. Um, you know, comic books are very dialogue heavy, but they're also very quick and sharp. Um, I've known because I've written dialogues for graphic novels before and I have a terrible time doing it because you know I've only written novels I have my own novels out and I've created individual characters um, who speak differently have different different grammatical ways that they that that they talk to one another you know when when I write this is going to sound so like uh, I don't know like self-serving and arrogant and I absolutely hate this but like when I write my characters um, you can tell that these characters are two different characters. They speak differently. They, they you know, combat words and dialogue and, and grammatical structure differently. Um, and in this book, there's not that. There's all these characters are the exact same character. Um, all their thoughts are pretty much the exact same. You know, there's there's not a whole lot of room for uh, for difference within these characters. And the problem is that there are so many characters in this book. It got to the point towards the end where I'm like, literally, it doesn't matter which character is talking. You could you could move this character out of this scene, put in a completely different character from this book, and they would say the exact same thing. Like there's there's no character autonomy, I guess. Um, and that just 
it was confusing. Um, there was there was one review that I read that did praise a lot of the book, but said that some of the villains in this book had way more personality than the Jedi, and that's exactly true. Um, none of these Jedi had any of their own personalities. They were all the exact same. The way they viewed the Force, of course, was different, but you could substitute one for the other. It wouldn't matter. Like that's that's how that's that's the thing that frustrated me with with this book. Now, if you've watched my channel before, um, I I've mentioned Star Wars quite a few times. I love Star Wars, one of my favorite franchises. Even though a few years, like the last few years, where I had to step away from Star Wars simply because um, what Disney was doing with it, with the the sequels, uh, like hurt me, <laughs> and I realized like I I have way too much um, invested in in this in this series, and I need to step away from it because I was feeling. Like I left the I left the last Jedi movie just feeling glad that it was over because I couldn't I couldn't handle the emotional toil that it was taking <laughs> taking on me, which is so stupid because it's just Star Wars. I've come back with Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett and you know anything to do with Ahsoka I am I'm obsessed with. But this book was just I just don't know if is it a young adult novel like because if it's a young adult novel I can I can get that but I don't think it is a young adult novel. I don't normally read YA because I find it very uh well shallow and this was definitely a an incredibly shallow book. So would I recommend anybody reading this? Uh no. And there's actually a comic book version of this story and I feel like if you're going to read it read the comic book version because that's probably way better than than this sure the one thing that this does really well is address the force but there's n there's not enough of that it's not a philosophical book it's it's just a book about characters introducing this kind of um time period and kind of what's going on in the galaxy at this time i have noticed that the second book of this series is out or maybe the second and the third are both out now um but i will not be reading uh anymore which is which is weird for me because usually if i if i even start a series and I hate the first book, I will still go out and read the second book because I just, I, I need to know if I'm going to like it, if it's going to get better. But this was so bad that I, I'm not going to continue on with this series, <laughs> with, with this book series, because like, it was so hard to get through this book. And after this, I was like, I don't want to read any more Star Wars or science fiction for a while. I need a break from like, from reading this. It was just, it was that terrible. So I do not recommend this book. <laughs> So that's really that's really it for today's episode. Kind of really short. It was just kind of me ranting about how terrible um, a novel was. If you like this book, please let me know in the comments below why you liked it. Um, maybe you know I should give it a second look, or uh, maybe I should just read the comic book. I don't I don't know. And everybody, <laughs> thanks for watching. Sorry about this one. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below because I love hearing what people are reading. Because I would love to add some more books to my to be read list. I mean, I, I have an extensive to be read list, but it's always nice to add more books to it. And yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for similar content. On Mondays, I post videos about houseplants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants and reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to H&H &H Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye!